COVID-19 as the situation is changing every single day. So we're here to help and so is our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. She joins us live this morning to answer some of your questions. Good morning, Dr. Coley. Good morning, Natasha. So the first question comes from a viewer who asks, is it safe to eat takeout food? This is an important question because it's something we all want to do to try to support our restaurants. And the good news is that there have been no documented cases of transmission of COVID-19 through takeout food. Having said that, however, it is important to keep in mind if the person preparing your food goes to the bathroom, doesn't wash their hands, or coughs or sneezes in your food, it's possible that it may get contaminated. You also have to think about the packaging and think about the delivery, you know, paying for the food and the exchange. So what I usually do when I order takeout food is I have them leave it at the door, I tip them electronically or pay for it electronically, and then I bring the packages into my house and I, and I designate a space on the counter called the dirty space where I put the, the food. Then I have containers that are clean containers in the clean space, and I take out the food from the packages, pour it into the containers, and then I microwave it. Of course, wash my hands and get rid of all the packaging. Yeah, that's really smart. The leave at the door option is on Uber Eats, and I know Grubhub, a lot of these um, food apps are doing the same thing. My next question, and let me just preface this by saying don't get mad at me, is from someone who is actually legitimately considering a trip to Florida to avoid the spread, and they're asking if mosquitoes can spread COVID-19. Ooh, I think my blood pressure just went up about 10 points. This is not the time to go to Florida or to go anywhere. Remember, we're, we're really staying at home. We're only leaving our house for essential purposes only, and particularly in Florida because there's a lot of cases there. But to answer your question, it's not spread by mosquitoes like the Zika virus. This is really a respiratory virus, so it's spread more kind of by direct contact or some of the other things we've talked about. But please, please don't leave your house to go to Florida because it's not a good time and you're really going to expose yourself and others to risk by doing so. Yeah, so in th instead of thinking that you are going to get away from the spread, you are probably going to be the spread. So, and finally, someone is wondering what is the effectiveness of using cloth masks or other masks besides an N95? Now, this is a great question, a really important question, because we're seeing that guidance change from the CDC. But there's really two things to think about when you're thinking about a mask. One is, what does it let in? And the other is, what does it let out? So with respect to cloth, cloth masks, they're not very good at protecting you from what it lets in. And we think the efficacy, and we've seen in studies, is about 50% or so compared to surgical masks. So they're about half as good as surgical masks, and part of that is the material, and part of that is the fit on your face. But in terms of what they actually let out, they're very good. And that is the reason the CDC is now asking us to wear these masks. It's not so much to protect you from others, but it's actually to protect others from you. Because if everybody wore these masks, those people that are the asymptomatic spreaders that are really driving the spread of this pandemic would would be covered and their respiratory droplets would be less likely to get out and infect others. So the cloth masks, again, are really to protect others from you. And it's a really important thing that everybody needs to get on board with, just like social distancing, because if we all don't do it, it's not going to work. And so even though it, it has a stigma associated with it and it feels awkward, it's important to do it, you know, to protect your community and to really get on board with helping us to fight this pandemic. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got to do something 100% in order for it to work. Dr. Coley, nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us.